Hello and welcome back to the Lime Tree Sessions podcast with me, Jack Milcrease, and Scott Charlton. And today we are joined out by Blackout the Arcade. Woo! You too. So why, why are you called Blackout the Arcade then? Is there an actual nah, reason or is it just... Thinking of cool words and mashing them together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like. Honestly, I was thinking we as like accidentally locked in like an yeah, arcade, arcade or yeah, something. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah we were. Just yeah, lie. Yeah, exactly. yeah, we were. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. just lied. We, 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 we hit the, the toilets till they're locked up. Down, and we yeah. just yeah. The Can you edit around well, this to make yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, we'll just ask again. So why are you called Blackout the Arcade? Traumatic childhood. We were was the seating crew in the arcade. That's where we were. That's where we were. Crew. How we all doing? Yeah, very good. Not bad. It is a squeeze in here this week. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is the most people that have ever been in this room before. It's all right because we're the smallest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least we know <laughs> four fucking green giants. This is yeah. true, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Squatty little rat over here. <laughs> <laughs> For our viewers and listeners, do you want to just introduce yourselves really quick? Because there's four of you. Yeah, so I'm Theo, lead singer. Um, Tom, I'm the drummer. I'm Connor, I'm the bass player. Uh, Reese, and I'm the lead guitar player. Very cool. We're going to be talking about your music and stuff a little bit later on. Uh, but at the start of the podcast, we always talk about what we've been doing this week. Uh, what have we been doing this week, Lyndon? We've been gigging. We've had um, two gigs this week. Where have we been, Scott? We were in Hartlepool. We were in Hartlepool. Saturday oh, twice. Sunday, yeah. Yes, we were in Hartlepool twice. Oh. Can you it's all right in Hartlepool. I don't mind Hartlepool. Yeah. It's don't hear from Hartlepool, you don't have to lie. No, no. <laughs> don't okay, talk. fair enough. But don't talk about the monkey. You're not allowed to talk about the monkey. Okay. Yeah. You guys know about you that. Up, no, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you I'm know about not that? I've got a clue what you're talking about. I'll talk about it later. Yeah. yeah. Talking about the Frenchman. Yeah. 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 And the French spy. Yeah. Just walking told us inside. We'll tell you later. You've got no idea, have you? No, I'm not got a clue. Don't want to piss off our Hartlepool Liam fans. No, no. We'll tell you later, Ron. We'll tell you later, But yeah, that's all we've been doing this week. Very cool. Lads, what have we been doing? We went out on Friday for Paddy's Day, didn't we? about really, yeah. Early session, that one, wasn't it? Half 12. Apart from that, not much my Musically, is anything going on or are you just being on the set? This is us getting us back. Back to know, it yeah, now. Swing. We've been recording some tunes. Um, Six months ago. Nah, <laughs> we probably recorded them about two months ago now, didn't we? Re- re-recorded so, yeah, them. Yeah, to be fair, like, these tunes we've just recorded, we've had like we've had recorded versions of for like last since like yeah. middle of COVID, right. whatever. Right. We started the, getting going. Yeah. Yeah. Originally recorded in January 2021. Yeah. So wow, so been a while ago. Getting back, yeah. back in the swing of it, really. Yeah. 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 And then once we, we sort of, once we sort of get these um, these tunes, like the promo and whatever done. Um, and then the release, and we'll probably just look to do a, a hometown release party sort of thing. Probably oh, at yeah, the forum yeah, yeah. in Darlow. Yeah. Get all our friends sort of there and try to fill out a venue, get some good photos and good. videos, and then let the momentum take us from there. Awesome stuff, man. Awesome stuff. Uh, what have I been doing? Working, well, probably. Working. Uh, been at the stack, uh, which was a rainy one, so no one was really <laughs> there. Uh, what the buskers are, like just performing? Uh, buskers. And then. Is it just you? It, uh, it was me and one other person oh, who, no. who, who braved the rain. But it's funny at Stack. Have you ever been to Stack Seaburn? Uh, not that one. No, no, no. 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 Been to the one in the Newcastle before. The better it's one. Clo- yeah, it's closed yeah. now, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Reopening soon, though. Is it's it awesome? Same place or different? No, a different place. Ah, I was going to yeah. say. Uh, no. Where's the one that you said you went? Seaburn. Oh. Is that their time, Mouth? Is that that one? No, it's no. Um, like oh, Seaburn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like yeah, just yeah. up from there. Oh, yeah, no. Um. So, yeah, the problem with that is, though, is like, Half of it is covered and half of it isn't. So, like, if you're halfway down, you just... It's dreadful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I did a gig at my local, Lamp and Worm in Chessie Street, big up Chessie Street, on <laughs> Friday. <laughs> and then, yeah, other than that, just work. Busy, busy, work busy. The guitar shop, it's, it's great. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's what we've been up to this week. Okay, it's time for... What are you listening to? All right, what have we been listening to? So, as always, we always put these songs in uh, a playlist, which will be linked down below on the YouTube video description. I nearly lost it there. It's been a while. It's only been a week. Um, So, we're going to kind of miss out this because we are joined by a band. So, we're going to go individually. What have you been listening to this week? Uh, One tune I have been smashing this week is Time in Disguise by Kings of Leon. Okay. Yeah, proper proper vibey tune. Not like all the rest of them, do you know what I mean? It's got quite a different feel to it, but now I've been listening to that on repeat quite a lot really recently. <laughs> what album? Is that what album? Oh, I couldn't even tell you, you know. I'd have to... Is it a newer one or is it another no, one? No, I think it's a fair... I think it's, it's one, one that's one. like... Um, 
It's like under neon lights with like a like that check. Oh, um, oh, mechanical but Yeah, mechanical. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's yeah. one hell of an album. Yeah, yeah. I, I love no, that. Is that, what, is that uh, got uh, what's it called? The bucket on as well. Is that no, that? no, no it's like an early one. Yeah, yeah so the second album. And then also the the Come Around Sundown album. I've been yeah. listening to that quite a lot as well. Nice yeah. country on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, awesome. Yourself. So uh, these two have really boy. got. You brought me again. These two have really got me into um, Red Rum Club at the moment, so I've, just been, uh, I've been smashing Vanilla a lot. Which I think yes, that's a tune. Band. Really good song. Band. I've just had that on repeat a lot. Uh, I've uh, been getting into Boston Manor. All right, okay. Recently, I like Algorithm off their new album and right. Foxglove. That's another good tune as well. I've not heard of them. Dead good. They like um, they started off proper like you know heavy metal style, yeah, and then yeah. they've sort of like mellowed out a bit, and they've got like more melodic, maybe like indie rock kind of like a bit heavier than you would. Right. Maybe think for indie rock, but some good stuff. I'm really enjoying. Nice, nice, one. nice, sweet. nice one. Yeah, and I've been getting sort of into the Pigeon Detective. I'm not quite an old band, 2000s band, but I've been listening quite a lot of the Pigeon yeah, Detectives yeah. at the minute. So just dropped a brand new tune. It's called uh, Lovers Come and Lovers Go. And I don't know, it's just a banger. For it. It's one of them songs where I want to do it. I want us to do it as a band, but it starts basically with a chorus. So the, the first yeah, thing you hear yeah. is a chorus. I know. Not many songs like that, but it's just the whole thing's basically just like an anthem. So nice one. I always I'd thought be. that was a cool name for a band. It is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Pigeon, Pigeon Detective. Detective. Is it somebody? Who, is there somebody else in that who's in another band? Or am I making? Who am I thinking? Oh, I don't of? know. I'm not sure to be honest. Am I getting mixed up with the uh, Shadow Puppets? Is that who I'm thinking? Yes, yeah. y'all. Oh, yeah. That's sorry. Uh, yeah. Miles Kane. Miles Kane and Alex, Alex Turner. Turner. Yeah, that's, yeah. Right. that's totally right. <laughs> <Optimus. laughs> yeah. That's a cool band also name. Also, well. a really good band. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Last Shadow Puppets on main. Yeah, it's a band I've never really listened to. But then again, I'm not mega into. No, I don't think you would be that into it. No, that Miles Kane's pretty cool. Miles Kane, I saw him at Neighborhood Weekend, uh, and uh, he absolutely rocked it. To be fair, like not such a, a showman, like a proper yeah, showman. Yeah. Like I'd never been a, a massive fan of any particular one of his songs. I mean, a couple that I'd listened to sort of in playlists and whatnot. But when I saw him live, he, he really sent the show on, like backing singles a lot, proper sending it on. Yeah. Mint, awesome stuff. Well, that is what the lads have been listening to this week. If you want to check out those tunes, it'll be linked down below in a Spotify playlist, or you can type in Lime Tree W A Y L T on Spotify and find it there for yourself. Okay, it's time for the Lime Tree Time Machine. The Lime Tree Time Machine. Okay, lads. The concept is you've got a time machine. Where and when are you going? We'll go this way this time. Yeah. Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, use the think. time to think about where you, want, where you want to go. Yeah. That uh, could be your answer, to be fair. It could be. You know, have more time to think about where you want to go. I'm starting, yeah? Um, yeah. I'd probably, I'd probably be inclined to say somewhere in the future. I mean, like, not that we know exactly what's happened in the past, but we've got a brief idea yeah, from whatever, yeah. whoever's already said before. We sort of have an understanding of it, but whereas 200 years in time, you'd, no one's going to be able to tell you what's there then or like, what, what's true. about it. Yeah. We've, we've not had anyone that. say that before. No, no one's ever gone the forward outside the box our race. Uh, no. It, mint one. I mean, like, you don't know what's going on, do you, really? Like, I mean, we might not even be here in two year, 200 years' time. Who, it's true. You, don't, you never really know. Deep, so. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> slightly <laughs> depressing. Keep yeah. it yeah. light. <laughs> we are doomed. Nothing too morbid. But, um, yeah, just say where technology's taking us. Will it Will it even get that much more advanced? Are we? Have we peaked already? So like even like headed way yeah. back a little bit. You yeah, know what I mean? like yeah. You, you find quite a lot of people now say, "Oh, they wish they were born in yeah, eras, yeah, yeah, 80s, seventies, yeah. whatever." So you might see like the the trend of popular music go backwards again. I was, yeah, I was, I was, with that point as well, I also wonder the, like the music that we listen, the classics now are they still the classics in two hundred yeah. years? Or yeah. is the music released today going to be classics? Like say with That's Christmas, point, yeah. Christmas music. You don't really get new Let songs cook. as much Let cook. To, so, uh, for people. Like it's always the classics. Are they still going to be the classics in five hundred years' time? Like that's that sort of thing. I mean, uh, yeah, that's that's, 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 that's very yeah, good. Yeah. yeah, that's the most like complex <laughs> answer. Yeah. I think we've ever had. Get ready for a decrescendo from. The and I was going to say, <laughs> I, I thought a lot more selfishly than that. To be yeah, honest, was, in, the, in the car on the way, I was just like, I'd like. I'd go back like it's, it's like that film I'd go back to before Bohemian Rhapsody was written and write it myself yeah still just struggle. to claim credit for I know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just I know. remembering all the yeah, ways yeah, yeah. Uh, I, yeah I don't know but it's like that film where that guy remembers all the Beatles songs that yeah, never existed yeah. I think we talked like, about that last week we did yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that because my, my answer was go back to 61 and just write yeah. all the Beatles hits yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Be, just be the just be the man you know what I mean yeah yeah like, good answer yeah imagine if you like if you you could claim credit for every 
great song that every great band did over the, over like that yeah, twenty yeah. year period. You'd just, you'd be like, would you live with being an imposter you'd, though? You'd have like statues yourself. all over. You'd be a god. Like, <laughs> or maybe <laughs> maybe even take your own thing back to I don't know sixties yeah, seventies. Would would it work? Like obviously music's changed from regression. Um, mm. Would what we play now? Obviously it would be really different back then. Would that? Yeah. Would people like that? Yeah. Or would they, have, would they yeah. not? Yeah. Would they not? How would they react to it, sort of thing? You tell yeah. who's the critical thinker yeah. of the band. Class. What would yours be? Yeah, so mine's also on a selfish path. Probably not as historic as Connor's would be, but I'd go back a couple of months to make sure I got Paramore tickets because I forgot. <laughs> ah, <laughs> and it was really, annoying, really annoying. <laughs> what an answer! <laughs> so annoying. Oh. Oh, so you didn't get them? No, I didn't. Oh, I, right. The, yes, no. About the entire two weeks leading up, I was I was getting into work thinking, like, nine o'clock, Paramore tickets. Like, and having, like, a countdown in my head. The one day they came on sale, I forgot. Got oh. to about 11 o'clock, oh, and I thought, no. oh, and then the only ones left were, like, 80 quid in the gods. And I was uh, like, no, can't, can't be bothered. Good, I, good I love, answer. I love Hayley Williams, but... <laughs> yeah. Not well, you can never have that. Well, not not <laughs> safe 300 metres away. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fair enough. Yourself? Nah, uh, it's a bit of like a, a simple one, but do you know what one of my pet haters, haters when you go to gigs, right, and people will spend the full time on the phone filming it? Right. Do you know what I mean? And only half the people are actually there in the moment. I'd yeah, probably yeah. just go back to, say, 90s or early 90s, where every single person in that gig was in the moment listening to the music yeah. rather than looking at the phone filming it. Do you know uh-huh. what I mean? Because sometimes yeah. it, it ruins the vibe of a gig, and then you look back at... Um, what was the the big Oasis gig that was outside Nebworth, 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 Nebworth and you see yeah. that every single person's just jumping up and down, just not a single about, person's yeah. got the phone out filming. Mm-hmm. Just unbelievable vibes. Uh, yeah. Joe Tracy said something similar. He's, he basically said that he would want to go back to a time where phones just That's, didn't exist. Yeah, yeah. Uh, For similar reasons. Cause I live by that when I go to gigs most of the time. Like, yeah, like I'll get like, the same, odd clip. Yeah. If like a family member likes a song, I'll, like, oh, I'll get like a minute of this. But like, we went to the neighbourhood weekend and Catfish were headlining one of the days, right? And... Uh, I got one video of one of the songs, but my favourite Catfish song, Sidetrack, right? Um, one of our mates, a mutual friend, right? He got me on his shoulders for it, and I was above everybody and all their You phones. on shoulders? He's a big Oh, yeah. Shout out Bridger. He's a big boy. Shout out Bridger. He's a big boy. Shout out Nathan Bridger. Some boy. But I was... I was, I was, I was, I was Fucking man shoulders. mountain. <laughs> By the way, oh, he, he, was absolutely, he was absolutely like... Plastic, Imagine him like, here. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> Couldn't get any sense out of him, but right, and he looked like he was a bit like wavy, but he had me on his shoulders. He was solid as a rock. Anyway, I was I was above all of the phones and all the hands, and I was just looking directly at the stage and being hit with like a wall of sound. And that is the best gig experience I've had like this far. Proper like, spectacle to see. It's not, yeah. it's not often lads <laughs> like, yeah. I'm watching them instead of going. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, like, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. I just wasn't even asked that. I didn't have my phone out recording it. Like, you know, when people are like, oh, yeah, I've got yeah, to get yeah, this yeah, to remember yeah. it. I was just I was just there, just listening to it. It was class. Yeah. You get your tits out when the camera goes on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have, you know. All the time, though, you'd, you'd record it, you'd never listen to it again anyway. Or you might, exactly. Do you know what I mean? That's true. That is true. You sometimes, I wish, like, when I come, when I when I leave, oh, I wish I'd have got a, like, a video or that, but like, yeah. you just don't enjoy it the same in the moment, do you? If you, if you just if you just sat there recording it on your phone, and I it feel like... It's shite when you listen to it back, anyway. Yeah, exactly. yeah, just do it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You, you see yourself just... screaming and ruining the whole thing, so it defeats the purpose. Yeah. Bank the memory. Yeah. There was another thing we noticed, wasn't there? People talking more. Yeah, because we want we want to go and see uh, James Bay in Middlesbrough. Well, yeah. what, what was the venue called again? Empire. 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 Yeah, I've, I've seen the Cooks there. Yeah. Good. It's, it's like an show. Venue. Had to know about that. Oh, I probably just keep my mouth shut. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I, people were just talking about the whole thing, and obviously people on the phones as well. You just couldn't enjoy it. You could tell they were just there just for the like, yeah. popular songs or whatever. The people oh, next to us, you. I know the whole life story. <laughs> <laughs> I think I said this before on the podcast. They told us every. Well, they didn't tell us everything. They were talking to each other, and just it was just everyone could hear. Too loud. Even James Bay could hear them talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, James Bay was yeah. fucking sick of them. I hope he was. Do you know, yeah, do you know what was a, a weird gig that I went to? I went to Australia and Liam Gallagher played while I was there, and I thought, oh, I'll, I'll go see it because it's someone that, that I know and that I like and see what I take in Australia. Everyone was stood like sort of ten yards away from each right. other, even at the front. And you know what I mean? If you get if you want to get to the front in a, a gig now, you everyone's dead packed, aren't they? And it, I found it dead weird that everyone was stood so far apart. It was outside, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, and I, I remember him saying on the. Uh, from the stage, like what you're doing, man, like bunch up sort of thing. I thought that was quite a weird experience, and wow. obviously it's just different cultures, isn't it? But yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is pretty crazy, actually, when you think about it. Because anywhere you go, you're packed in. Even yeah. festivals yeah. over exactly, here, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. everyone wants to be at the front. Yeah. There was probably about a, a gap between between us and you here, yeah. between these people, and I sort of went to stand in that gap, and they looked at me like. As if to give me hatties, and I was like, "Well, if you don't want me to stand there, fucking stand there yourself." <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll step back. Yeah, exactly. Wow, that's pretty crazy, yeah, like, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'd love to go. Well, I have been to a gig in another country, but I'd love to go to a gig 
like in America or yeah, Australia. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I don't know what it. Well, I was seeing when I went to I went to see um, Kiss in Amsterdam. <laughs> it, 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 was, it was meant actually, but we'll, 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 <laughs> can you remember we'll, it? Like, I was gonna yeah, say, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. class, <laughs> crystal uh, clear. <laughs> uh, but we were seated, but like I can't remember. The floor was pretty packed. Like I don't think there was necessarily any gaps. Yeah. But I, I'd love to go to a gig in Australia. Like yeah, that'd yeah. be that'd be sick. I mean, it, I, I was expecting it to be meant. Obviously, it was it was good. Like, but it wasn't the same as a gig here. Do you know what right, I mean? Like, okay. Plenty of people just sort of took a seat on the grass, yeah, if you know what yeah. I mean. And uh, yeah, the atmosphere is after. Yeah, the it, 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 like, the, the atmosphere was nothing like what it would be here. Like, I know Liam Gallagher's not like <coughs> huge these days. I mean, obviously, he's still one of the biggest frontmen ever. But like. I expected a lot more sort of liveliness from that crowd than than what there was. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Like you say, it must just be the culture. Yeah, that's it. So Everyone's yeah. just a bit more chilled out, aren't they? And like, it might, might be one of them festivals. It was like more geared less towards like people who just want to be there for like the experience of a gig and just kind of like, oh, it's an outdoor come if you. Yeah, you yeah. They're more chilled back over there as well. Aren't yeah, they? So, definitely. Uh, yeah. And that probably plays into it as yeah. well. Yeah. It was mega at Leeds, to be fair. Like. Yeah. That everything you've just said there d- doesn't resonate at all. Yeah, the opposite. With the crowd, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. that's what I mean. Absolutely so you, massive. You but then is that because it it's Leeds in. Fest rather than whatever this Australian festival was? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like, even a festival, it was just a headline gig for him. But, uh, sure, it wasn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, the tribute man. version. Ah. <laughs> 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 like, like, one yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Class. So we are joined by Blackout the Arcade. I've got to ask off the bat what does the band name mean? Where does it come from? Strap in. I'll tell you a little bit of a story, uh, and it doesn't really give you any context for the name, but it gives you a bit of insight <laughs> to why we changed it from what it was. Okay. So we were called Neon Waves, and when we thought of that, it was completely original. We were probably 16, 17. Probably, 17. Yeah. We didn't have a really, we didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even listen to that many indie bands, but like yeah. then when I started to, I realised there was Circa Waves, Pale Waves, Neon Waltz, Neon Trees, yeah. and it just sounded derivative of all of those. Yeah. Right. And we just thought, we need to try and think of a name. And then we actually got a gig support in Neon Waltz. <laughs> really? And we were like, yeah. it was going to look like on the bill, it was going to be like Neon Waltz, we supported like, by Neon Waves. Waves. Like, it wouldn't look like a tribute after supporting them. And we were just kind of <laughs> thought, like, that's when we realised, really, that was pretty, yeah. pretty bad. Yeah, show, and right? we just thought we have to think of something that's completely original. Um, the thing being that everybody disagreed with our decision to change the name, everybody yeah. just loved Neon Waves because yeah. it like, rolled off the tongue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everyone liked yeah. Neon Waves, like, didn't they? And they, didn't, they were like, why, why you change it? It was like, it's just too much like so many other bands. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't know, I think you just sort of came yeah, up with that, didn't I, you? I don't know, I'd, I'd had it for, I was thinking about it for a while and we'd had a few different options and I'd, I'd just had it, I don't know. Well, he wanted to name it after himself, man. He's got two yeah. middle names and he was like, oh yeah, let's like let's mix up my middle names a little bit. And, like, yeah, I'm yeah. the fucking front man, Wash. <laughs> 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 nah, but uh, so my middle name's Alexander and Luca and I thought like Alec or Luca or something like that. <laughs> yeah. sounded cool. That's quite yeah. a cool yeah. name. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, and then right, he was like, oh yeah, let's fucking do it. And then he pitched it to us and we were like, oh, like... we hadn't changed that band yeah, yeah, for the third time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> talking about all of it for two years. Please, nah, I'll not be changing mess. again. I think. <laughs> no, we're set up it now. Yeah, yeah, but I, like, I, I like that name. And when you said that Obviously. to me, I was like, yeah, guaranteed. I like that. Uh, yeah. And then we got a band name. Plug yourself. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so why why are you called Black Out the Arcade? Then is there an actual no, reason, or is it just? Thinking no. of cool words and mashing them together. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, Fair enough. Our name as generator as wasn't cutting it. So that, that's like, honestly, yeah. I was thinking we is like accidentally locked in like an yeah, arcade, arcade or yeah, something. Yeah, like, yeah. Our, yeah we were. Just yeah, we yeah, 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 we were. Just lie. We hit the machine. toilets till they're locked up. Down, we just played the game. Can you edit round this to me? Well, we'll just ask again. So why are you called Blackout the Arcade? Traumatic childhood. We were. Where was it? Seating Carew in the arcade. <laughs> That's where we, we were. were uh, right. yeah. Yeah. The weekend. That's where we yeah. were. <laughs> Crew. That's yeah. great. Oh yes. Well, that's staying in. That's great. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, class. Wait. Do you want to just tell us about a bit about the band and um, your journey from beginning to now? Really? Yeah. So um, we started off. Uh, to be fair, I, I didn't really have much of a musical background. I kind of picked up the guitar a tiny bit. And always sort of just sang in my own time, and then he had a Zac when, Efron moment <laughs> when ah. it came to going. To, when it, I was a bit of like a chavy growing up, and when it came to going to college, I just decided I wanted to do music, and then um, I ended up doing music in, as a class. And Reese was in a band with his schoolmates, and he was dropping me sly hints, like he was putting uh, posters up in the corridor saying yeah. indie singer wanted and all that because yeah, I was yeah. in his class, and I just did not pick up on it. And I think he finally picked up the courage to message me and like, oh, do you want to be in my band? And I was like, <laughs> hell yeah. Uh, and then it was sort of me, him. Not um, me. I was, I was just singing. I wasn't playing guitar or anything. 
Um, and then we had a few other lads from Reese's hometown, Sedgefield, who were also doing music at the college. And then these two were just in the class, but not in the band. Yeah. These two just uh, fill, filled in. Really. I, I was yeah. in the band. I was doing. We were in a. I was in a band called Singapore Safe House, named yeah. after the Modern Warfare Two map. Nice. <laughs> oh, I didn't come up with a name. What I just joined. I was like, all right, yeah, yeah. Song. that's class. And then. Yeah. Um, and then we, but when we were sort of in our in our lessons, we were in a band together just for like the yeah, lesson purposes. Yeah. And like, I, yeah. we were really kind of like shoot together. together. But I, yeah, like yeah. The teacher Mike was. It was kind of meant to be. Like, really, you guys need to kind of do something yeah. together. And big shout out to Mike Hettle, by the way, because we, <laughs> we own quite a lot. Yeah, to be we fair, do. Like... We? But um, I always felt that the chemistry in that class was better than what it was with with the band sort of before. And then the other lads sort of went and did their own thing. Went off did. Um, yeah. uh, Different Whatever, things yeah. at different universities and that, and I was just like, right, now it's time to get these two in. Yeah, well, these were these were all I was fairly local. There. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, he was there. Yeah, yeah you said I, I moved uh, down to Leeds to work, and mm-hmm. I got I got a job down there, so I had a flat in Leeds and that. And then um, he was like, oh, do you want to come and jam with like you get the car? I was like, I was like, <laughs> got the car. Yeah, go on then. But I was uh, I was always desperate in the early days to get back on guitar because yeah, I like I started yeah. I was a guitar guitar player, mm-hmm. and. Uh, yeah, I just couldn't get couldn't get my head around the fact that I was going to be a bass then, player. So we were, so we were obviously but five. It's better. There's no wrong with being a bass player. It's much better. Ooh, it's much cool. better. You keep it telling is. yourself that. <laughs> we, we, there was, so there was five before, and then it went to four, and then it was like, right, who's going to play the guitar? And I could play basically Wonderwall by Oasis, and that was about it. So that really fucked me off. So I was like, what can I not play guitar? And then he was like, no, we're going to stick him on. He sounds like a bag of spanners. <laughs> and I was like, what? And I, I'm still absolutely bang average. I can play a few chords and that, but I think when I was singing up front, I, I hated not knowing what to do with my hands. So I kind of said, right, well, I'll, I'll try hard to sort of learn the songs. And then we got comfortable and we started playing gigs and we actually released a song called You'll Be Fine, um, which is which is obviously out under Neon Waves. And we entered it into a competition to um, to play uh, Stockton Calling, mm-hmm. the festival. And I think there was quite a lot of entries and it won. So we got like to play Stockton Calling on the same year where Reverend and the Makers and uh, a couple of other decent bands were playing, and and after that yeah we just started getting quite a lot of gigs and stuff started started writing more music and we've got an abundance of songs really to to record we've yeah, just to sort just, out it's just more. getting yeah I mean we're all good at playing shows and and getting songs tight but what we what we use to that is social media and promotions <laughs> yeah and, uh, no and all admin. that stuff that you need to do for yeah, the, for, yeah. the, for yeah. the other stuff to, to 90% of, well. 90% of what you need to be doing is what we're not doing. <laughs> <laughs> currently, <laughs> currently, currently we, are cha- we are working to change that. So. Exactly, yeah, trying to get more proactive and then probably just get the... We've done some photo shoots recently, uh, which we absolutely hate doing. We're so awkward in front of the camera, <laughs> aren't we? Uh, and then, yeah, so we're, I, I mean, we were we had picked up quite a lot of momentum before sort of COVID times. Then that came and it, it, it really wiped out the momentum and then... It took a while to sort of get get back to it. By this time, Bushby's joined ten other bands. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so guys, uh, <laughs> and now we can't. You can only re- re- rehearse on Fridays or Sundays. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not allowed to shout you out because they'll kill me. But you know, you know, you know who you are. Uh, Do no, one. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't mean that. <laughs> no, it's uh, all love. we love them really. Uh, <laughs> and no, so we're looking to get sort of momentum swinging again and get yeah. back to it yeah. we we can get gigs and stuff around Stockton and we've played one in Sheffield the other year didn't we that well, was we started, our... before it all went quiet we started getting like really good support slots do you know yeah. what I mean like it, it, it just seemed like it was going on like an up, yeah. upward trajectory so like gigs were coming thicker and faster and it was for like more like notorious or like you know regional sort of bands that like people actually like start to like know now when yeah. you talk yeah. to you know, and then COVID hit. Yeah, yeah. I, I, we can't use that as like the same old cliche excuse, but it, well, it really it's did. It's a just... pretty good excuse. Yeah, <laughs> as no, excuses but, go. No, but you know what? There was a, there's a lot of like local people who made like good waves. Yeah. Like during we should have jumped back. COVID. Yeah, there was yeah. people who we took that just time to... yeah to actually like to, yeah. to graft, write songs. You know, do stuff behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. We we just didn't do any. The of thing it. is yeah. though, we all lived in done. we all lived in different towns. Yeah, we, all, we all lived. Well. We me and I lived in Newcastle. You lived in Leeds at one point. You Darlow. You said you moved to Huddersfield for a year. Yeah, just, just it's difficult to stay, all over, stay yeah. at it, wasn't it? And then now we're all sort of similar, back in a similar area, yeah. looking to sort of get things yeah. going again. I mean, we never lost the love for it, did we? And we always wanted them tunes to sort of uh, to sort of come out with a bang. And when they didn't go as planned, it, it did definitely sort of knock us back a little bit. And it's taken yeah. a while to sort of be like, right, out, let's let's get this going again. Uh, but that's where we're at now, and we're going to look and try and sort of smash it for the next couple of years and. See where it takes us. Just to give you an idea as well of how all over these like we've been, the the songs that we've recorded now and the like the stems that we've used for the songs that we've got mixed and stuff and ready to release. Uh, the drums were recorded in Hartlepool in Pigpen. 
Uh, the some of the bass stems are recorded in a random in Huddersfield. flat in Huddersfield. Nice. And like yeah, and some of the guitars are recorded in like a T side like like back room just all all back over. Room in <laughs> <T-side>. <laughs> no, no, no the, the guy who pro- like produces our stuff like he, he has like his own yeah, little yeah. little mm-hmm. man cave if you will. Right, for the guitars, like cool memorabilia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's got all his got all his gold records on the wall, name dropping every ten minutes. But yeah, yeah. I've got any gold Love you, Paddy. Not yet. <laughs> no. Not yet. <laughs> So you mentioned that you've got a couple of numbers already out on Spotify and all that jazz. What are they called? Uh, we've got one called yeah, Limbo. Six out together, isn't it? Yeah. Limbo, so no, not... Well, the, kind of the, the Black Alley Arcade. Spread, the spread across two, two, Spotify two different Spotify accounts. accounts. All right, okay. Okay. They're not letting us merge them, uh-huh. mainly. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 So we, we had, uh, under Neon Ways, we had four, maybe five releases. Um, and then, obviously, we name changed and stuff like that. We redid all the social media. Um, under Black Alley Arcade, we have uh, a tune called Limbo, that these song, those two songs were written in in college essentially, yeah. so yeah. Um, the old, old they've stuff. been around for quite a while. Yeah. To be honest, we actually with released you. Limbo as well under Neon Waves, didn't we? Yeah. And then we re-recorded, yeah, we re-recorded it to a sort of better standard under Black Out the Arcade, and then we did Walk Away, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is a, a proper upbeat, bouncy tune. But um, I think you can definitely sort of tell like a difference in maturity between those ones right, and, and yeah, these ones. Yeah. Yeah. And to be fair, even these ones that are coming out were written maybe two years ago, and like sort of the ones that we've wrote in the past year are probably the ones that we prefer now. You know, it's ah, like yeah. when you yeah. when you're a, an artist, you you write them. By the time you produce them, you've heard them a million times, and you're ready to do the next anymore, ones. Yeah. But you've got to follow those processes, haven't you? And at, at the end of the day, not everyone's not everyone else has heard them. Yeah. Um, but there's about four or five that are becoming in the next year. Um, so yeah, hope, hopefully yeah. 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 Book our ideas up. That's our, that's the <laughs> plan anyway. Nice yeah. one. So the the two that you mentioned there. Limbo and what was the other one? Walk, Walk away. away. We'll yeah. put those in the playlist that we mentioned earlier yeah, yeah. Um, with the, yeah. what you listen. to. Can we give an honourable well. mention of our most popular song? Go on. Yeah, we'll put you'll, that in as well if you you'll want. You'll be fine on yeah. uh, the Neon Waves account. It's yeah. the almost streamed song. It's the one that everybody kind of yeah. knows we'll and sings. Yeah. We'll, we'll stick that anthem. in there as well. Yeah, it's an anthem, isn't it? That it one everyone loves to see. That's the one where sort of when we play live, we do it last, everyone cheers and everyone sort of sings along with the sort of some like... Cool, catchy sort of backing vocals like wars and that, and everyone sort of sings yeah, along. Yeah, just like it pop them. just to get, to get feel good and that. It's, it's good like, vibes, yeah. definitely. That one, I, I, I like ending the shows on on that one, and uh, yeah. yeah, I think that was probably one of the one of the more uh, one of the more mainstream poppy songs we've got. Uh, yeah. The other ones are a little bit more uh, sort of. Currently, the ones we have are quite heavy. Those two yeah. under the Black Art the Arcade that are almost yeah, going into just... sort of rock. Well, not rock, but you know, like alt rock sort of stuff. But mm. now with where we're going now, we're we're not sort of toning it down, but it's a bit more indie, if you will. It's yeah, a bit more yeah. like, it's, that's just where we're at with it yeah. anyway. Yeah. Our yeah. cast. Well, we'll stick those three in the playlist from, yes. from <laughs> earlier on. Um, we're going to hear a couple of your tunes in a little while, and we always put a little snippet of your original song at the end of the podcast, and the full version of that will be out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, don't know why I ended it like that. But yeah. I'll put a cut in there. Jingle. Like, yeah. Jingle. <laughs> <laughs> Rashi is a jingle for the next one, so you're right. Yeah. I'll put a cut in there. Fine. Okay, it's time for... The Quiz and Other Games. The Quiz. Okay, so... Finish the lyric made famous by never mind the buscocks. We're going to play that again because we haven't thought of any other games to play. We, we should really have a new jingle just for this game because we've actually not because we only it. ever do this game. Yeah. yeah, it's a good game, though, isn't it? It is a good game. A good so, game. for once, you guys aren't playing. No, no, that means I can't lose. We, we can't is, lose. This is true. This is true. The band are <laughs> going to play. I can't win, which is annoying. <laughs> yeah, the band are going to play, and we're going to split into two. So, Liam and Tom on one it's team. It's not Liam. It's not um, Theo. 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 Why does it fucking Liam? I don't know. Cut. I, <laughs> I, I do. I'm not starting again. I do apologize. <laughs> Theo and Tom are going to be on one team. It's not that important. So is he, you did it on purpose, didn't you? too much. <laughs> so Theo and Tom are going to be on one team, and Connor and Reese are going to be there on the other team. Right. See, I got yeah. three quarters of that right. All right. Are we all good to go? Yeah. You guys can look at this. Yes, I know. You know. Do you know what? I'm not, I don't want to look at them to see uh, if I would get them. We need to give them buzzers. Do I have any buzzers? Oh, God, oh, I'm nervous, me. Like. <laughs> well, hang on. One team can yeah. have that. That's your buzzer, and that's your buzzer. Hey, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> Just smack it, smack it down. Do you know what I tend to do? Stick Test between your legs. Yeah. And oh, then have hold it. Like just smack it, it. Smack it down. Well, I'll, I'll Stick it between like their legs. Like that, where you can just smack it. You know, like. You're really overthinking he, this. He really wants to win. win. Efficiency. Yeah. Never one out and the prize <laughs> is <laughs> Paramore tickets. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Okay, are we all ready? 
these songs were taken from the 2010s playlist. Nice. Uh, Thank God oh. we're not doing it. So, okay, here we go. The club isn't the best place to find a lover. Oh, I think that was you. So the bar is where I go. Well oh, done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, that was, the, that was the... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, for all the times that you rain on my parade... <laughs> for all the clubs you're getting using my name. Well done. Wow. Off to a flyer here, like. If this was Come used. on, guys. <laughs> Did you got any of these? I, I don't, oh, know. No, I don't want to say. I just first one was one. easy. I flapped it when I was under the pressure. <laughs> uh, okay. This hit that ice cold. Michelle Pfeiffer that what Michelle Pfeiffer that white goal. <laughs> Three for three? Wow, what the hell? You, before, I'm before, chin him, man. <laughs> before the cameras were rolling, you were like, I didn't want him on my team. And he would go. He's... I get the piss nah, taken out of his pocket. I'm coming in the morning. I'm coming in the morning. All right. I'll let you have this one. My lover's got humour. No, please. She's the giggle at a funeral. Well done. Four for four. Come on, guys. It's so hard to like... Place it when it's not. If you if you get the next one, you've won because there's only nine questions. No, nice. nine yeah. songs. Haley Williams here. I stick my finger in there. So <laughs> I'm waking up to ash and dust. Oh, that's a good one. I sweat my brow. <laughs> uh, no. I wipe my brow on a. Uh, yeah. I sweat my rust. Yeah, 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 I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah. I wipe my brow and sweat. But, my we're now rust. just playing for pride, aren't we? Yeah. I don't listen to these. We're playing, we're playing, playing for a sweep. We're playing for second, lads. So. All right. Now and then, I think of when we were together. What are you laughing at? Why are you looking at me like that? No? Oh, uh, that is a good one. I'll say it slower, sorry. Now and then, I think of when we were together. I love this song as well. It's a good song. Things I couldn't tell you that there were remaining lyrics. I could just tell you what the song it was. Mm. I, I would know this one. Mm. I, mm, uh, okay, from do half points. We're gonna go half points, and I'll that. sing it. Um, now and then I think of when we were together. Oh, I don't know the second one. Oh, I don't, I don't know what the words are. I don't know the, the lyrics. Oh man! <laughs> if he gets this, I'm gonna chin him. I don't know. The, I don't know, the, <laughs> I don't know the, all the other lines of this verse except the second. <laughs> um, now and then I think of all the times you've. No, that's the start of the second verse, isn't it? Yeah, so you're getting the first the word. Time. Oh, yeah. Don't be thinking it was now? always something that nah. I said. No, so we get in the first word. It starts with like that. starts with like. Oh. Say, say, yeah, say that line again. Say that line again. There. Now and then I think of when we were together. Like. Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> no. Nah. Nah. Sorry. Like when you said you felt so happy you could die. Oh, of course. Uh, cool. Yeah. Good song. Of course. Great song. Dropped a banger and dipped. Oh, yeah. Aye. Yeah. There's another song on that album that's really good, but I can't remember the title. All oh, right, it's like the song before that one. John, I never listened to the album, me. I've never heard that song. <laughs> okay, you just want attention. <laughs> uh, you don't want my heart. Well hey! done. Hey! 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 Five what songs are? Hey, attention, Charlie Booth. Charlie Booth. Charlie Booth. Oh, Charlie Booth. Julie, 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 sorry. Fucking who's this kid? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pop Culture. <laughs> <laughs> He's a winner. That's what yeah. he is. Okay, yeah. yellow diamonds in the light. Now we're standing side by side. Well done. Oh. You little... <laughs> and finally... Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> and and finally... Come. For the car. <laughs> for the car. For the splitted kitchen. Um, or oh, don't you dare look back. Just don't keep... put your eyes on... Just keep your eyes on me. You oh, give me... Yeah. <laughs> 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 at the start, though. You put... Oh, man. I mean, the one anyway. Like. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that was good. Uh, that was a good quiz for you guys. Like, that was... Yeah, on. yeah. God, it's because you're offering the tickets, that's why. He's like, Paramount <laughs> tickets. Yeah. Yeah. spending a fucking warp drive. I drive. Was, we would have struggled with that one. Oh, yeah. yeah, definitely. I might have got a, a few of them. Reese, did you know any of those <laughs> songs? <laughs> well, I knew them one. I didn't know. I wouldn't have got the first one, the Ed Sheeran one. Yeah. We got that one. Do you know what? really struck me about that right so yellow diamonds in the light that's rihanna it is yeah. right yeah. that's the same era as um well all the other songs but fucking the ed sheeran one came out what like two three years ago well it feels like it was that long yeah, ago. It was shape of you how was it? Yeah, and then that's not the that same that? era, man. I feel oh. like you've got to break out like the 2010s and like just like yeah so well, that that would be like 2019 Shape you. Would have been somewhere yeah. like that, wasn't it? Nah, I can't. That's, that's crazy. the same era as the stuff I listened to when I was younger. Same decade, oh, isn't it? That is depressing. Nah, I'm sorry. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, what was the other who one? Who decided that, um, you go from like the start of like like 2010? When was, why was that the cutoff? Yeah, there's got like, to be like a 16, 17. I feel like t- 2015 onwards is yeah. like uh, 2005, you mean, 2005 So you're saying there should be a movement to ha- not have decades and just have like five Yeah, years. I feel like there needs to be uh, a Jurassic 2010s, sure. 2015s, 2020s, 2025s. Yeah. Wow, so every five years. Every five years. Every five maybe. years. Only starting from the noughties though. Because just like, there's, there's more hits. I feel like you can group everything There's more hits than ever like... Yeah, every, yeah. every year now yeah, so yeah. Like, there's, there's more music it's more saturated that's the so. beat tech popular music coming out there <laughs> 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 Just group the rest of them oh well there we go that was the quiz okay it's now time for quick fire questions quick fire questions or as we like to call them long winded questions because they usually take up like an hour yeah okay so the first a lot of questions are kind of music, artist related, and then there's just some funny questions at the end. Okay, what is the reason you got into music? We'll start with you. <laughs> to be honest, I just thought exactly Girls. the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's horrible. <laughs> nah, Quick answer. That, that probably, no. I don't know, I just wanted to look cool, but doing music and that singing. <laughs> so, <laughs> truth be told. I mean, when he started, right, because you, you're a big big rugby lad, you know what I mean? Like, So you had all like the rugby lad friends, and they were all so surprised when they found out you could sing. Yeah, I emceed yeah. before I could sing. Really? <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> you emceed? No, of course I didn't emcee, I was joking. <laughs> yeah, so when I told all like my sort of like my chavvy mates that I was that I was now a singer, they were all like, you're fucking, you're what? I like, couldn't believe it, and then obviously... And they all come to the gigs now. Like, and now they all come to the gigs. First one to the gigs, man, it's class, man. <laughs> so, girls... Are we going for yeah. a, a democratic answer? That. Yeah. Uh, so I was pretty young. I think I was in year three when I started playing guitar, so I don't really, I don't think I had that motivation, to be honest Girls. with you. Yeah. Boys. <laughs> Boys! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah. your, your brothers played, didn't they, growing up? Yeah, to be fair, mm. I've got two older brothers there. Oh, both right. sort of, sort of yeah. To be fair, on another point, like my dad always sort of played like the 90s sort of indie music and all that, the naughty stuff, yeah. and I was always massively into it, probably is, only came around to it when I was about 15, 16 and I actually realised that that's what sort of music I was passionate about and yeah, I just thought it looked quite fun to play. <laughs> I, I just I just wanted to like play on stages, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So well, I started playing guitar when I was 11 but um, my godfather got me into Bon Jovi, like you oh, know, that yes. album that obviously Living on a Prayer's on and all that kind of stuff and that was my favourite song for like, it's one of my favourite songs of all Still time. Is. It's, a, it's a classic, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, I just like, I don't know, it was just cool so I was like, I want to play the guitar and I stuck with it maintain the fact that I wanted to play guitar for like like three years prior to when I started because like you know how kids are when they say they want to do something and then they give it up yeah um, so my dad was like I'm not fucking getting you a guitar because you'll just fucking put it down after like a month yeah <laughs> anyway like he really did yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah I, I don't know I don't know what I don't know what the appeal was I just thought it was cool yeah and I like music there you go so good answer good answer uh, all right your earliest memory of listening to music Oh, God, I'm Got to reach back in week. the archives for this one. Ah, uh, mine's when uh, on the film Home Alone, where uh, <laughs> Kevin McAllister's <laughs> uncle's singing in the shower. Yes, <laughs> cool, Jared. Maybe it's kind of ever did see that one. Um, I don't know. I stuck in my head. But Brilliant. That's a good answer. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good answer. It's not like a song, but it's a bit of something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every yeah. time I see it now, I find it hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Mint. I used to sing in the car before I could talk me, so I didn't have a clue what the words were. Yeah. And one that I like particularly remember, I think I could talk when obviously this song came out, but it's <laughs> Zephyr song by the Chili Peppers. Oh uh-huh. tune by the way. Um but obviously that was when the radio used to play that kind of music. Mm. Um but obviously as like a when did that come out? Was that like two thousand four, two thousand five? Was it before? Like that. I couldn't tell you. Yeah. But I, I remember being like you know, it's, I, I can obviously remember it and I could probably talk and stuff, but I had no idea what he was singing or what he was saying. Yeah. But I used to just like sing along. Like just all the wrong words. Make the noises. That's one of like the main memories. Still doing the songs like that, just the wrong words. Yeah. Men. Uh, um, I used to always remember me dad playing McFly in the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get in. Rock and roll. That's, that's where classic. it's come from. Yeah. That's, oh, absolutely. That to be fair. Um, yeah. Stuff like um, Twy knows all the pop songs. Star Girl, obviously. Room on the third that's floor. All the, all room on the third floor. Oh. All the bangers. Men. Uh, I remember my dad used to have this uh, tiny little black MP3. It had all sorts from Franz Ferdinand to Travis. Uh, and I remember, I think Sean Kingston was on there as well. Like, <laughs> rather mixed thing. And I, just, I didn't really have a choice of what I listened to. You just press play and it, yeah, yeah. it just go through it. And uh, no, yeah, I used to listen to that all the time. And I think probably is the, the one that stuck out to me the most was Travis Driftwood that I used to always hear on there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. Nice Class. One. Good answers. Yeah. All right. In, in a word, the best gig you've been in. 
Caught fish. That was <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we've we've all been uh, putting a few catfish gigs, haven't uh, we? And they've yeah. all been men. They've all been mega like. Yeah. Skept there, I'm favorite band all right. these. That was working. Yeah, yeah, it's probably. sort of a common ground to be honest. I think that so. Of, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, a, it's sort of the not. What's another one? We try and our best not I'll just replicate. Oh, it, obviously, but I'll best. tell you what was good. The, the killers at the riverside. Oh, yeah, that was, was mega. That <laughs> killers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was that was good as well. Oh, Biffy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think. Mm. One of the two. Where, where did you see? Where did you see? Uh, Renton and Leeds. All oh, right. But, um, you went to both, did you? Oh no, just, just Leeds. Oh yeah, good point. Two <laughs> 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 I'll give you that one. Yeah, Leeds. Um, <laughs> not Redden scum. <laughs> um, Apologies yeah. to anybody listening or watching in Redden <laughs> and Hartlepool yeah. for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were just um, they they were kind of a surprise announcement. Well, not a surprise announcement, but they filled in for Queens of the Stone Age when they pulled oh. out. Um, Excellent substitute, I think it was to be fair. Twenty twenty two, I think. Um, and yeah, they were just unbelievable. No, oh, twenty twenty one, and they were just right unbelievable. I just got into them at the start of lockdown, so I had like a year of kind of going through their entire catalogue and just loving them. So then when I got to see them there, when I didn't even plan to, it was, yeah, it was really good. Nice one. Mint. Okay. So if you could be on a lineup uh, with any two artists in history, dead or alive... They are the only options. Who would it be? So, the, so, <laughs> so there's, there's two artists or bands and there's Blackout the Arcade. Who is it going to be? I'd imagine Catfish is going to be on there. Are, <laughs> are we supporting yeah, or... Are we still supporting Catfish? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. You can headline if you want. I mean, there's no, there's no real no, rules. Yeah, nah, I want to be on first so I can start drinking as soon as possible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you won't want to be with anyone too good, would you? Because they'll just make you look like shite. Uh, no, but I, feel, I don't know. I feel like you look pretty good before the Beatles playing through all the old equipment because... <laughs> you know, 60s music equipment. Oh, they're bringing Drive. all their tech out. Shite. <laughs> <laughs> I think Queen's got to be up there for me. Yeah. Yeah, Queen, yeah. I don't know about anyone. This is going to be a mistake. No, I, I couldn't make too many. But if, if, if you said, like, what gig in history would you like want to be put in the lineup of? I'd, I'd say Live Aid. I was thinking that. without <laughs> hesitation. Yes. Yeah. There's a common just... theme. All of us have said Live Aid for every yeah. answer, pretty much. Well, it has to be. It's one of like yeah. the biggest gigs. Yeah. Or oh, supporting Oasis at Nebworth. Yeah. yeah. I just yeah. think. So we're going. Mega. Uh, Blackout the Arcade, Oasis, Queen. Yeah, that would do. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Surprise appearance from Catfish. Good gig. Yeah. Surprise appearance from Catfish. Catfish can fill in when he's ill. Michael Jackson. <laughs> no, no, we're not going there. We're not going there. Michael Jackson. See, see previous episode. Michael Jackson. Again, had yes. Don't get him started. Michael Jackson. See? Was, it, was it Parkview? Or was it Parkview? Oh, Parkview. Yeah. Yeah. They couldn't yeah. decide. Oh, Wait, I can't say it's controversial, innit? I'm surprised. You've out yourself now. That was great. What's your band called? Well, we're under his band but we're in a separate band called the Preamps, band, but we're just Preamps. a cover band we don't do original we'll stuff. stick them on the bill we as do, well but... oh, that's yeah. that, <laughs> a load of 60s a clean and yeah. 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 we can just do like the compare yeah. you know what I mean and now it's time for <laughs> you know we can all MC jingles yeah. not like that though <laughs> no, yeah. you can yeah, MC bt bt uh, I'll cut that bit out. Yeah. Yeah. I can use it. Well, that'd be great. That'd that's be great. that's the new jingle if you need a jingle. Yeah. Yeah. And now it's time oh. for. <laughs> what about the bad? What about the You know who you sound like? You sound like the guy on Storage Hunters. Yes. There you go. Uh, what well, oh. if the music doesn't work out for you? Yeah. There you go, yeah. We've got a fucking sample lab. That was so funny. All right, okay. Here's a really interesting one, right? If you could hear a song for the first time again, oh, what would it be? Outside by Caption the Bottom in. I mean, when I heard that, like, I, I, I absolutely <laughs> yeah. love that, just start to finish. I mean, you can, but it wouldn't chills. be original. Um, oh, do you want to go on? No, I'm still thinking. Got one. I'm trying to think of a song that when I first heard it, just like, like I was like, whoa. Um, <laughs> and I, yeah, yeah. There's a few, but... It's a tough question. Oh, like, good question. Dead Thanks, ass, Joe. Dead Eyes Killing Me. Um, um, oh. PYT Michael Jackson for you. <laughs> That's a, That's a chill. That is a good song. Probably, uh, <laughs> probably Mr. Brightside before I knew it was such like a mainstream. I'd like so. to not hear that again, but probably for different <laughs> reasons. <laughs> <laughs> When will I hate? <laughs> fucking hate the song. <laughs> yeah. When you when you when you play it in a pub every fucking night, it's the uh, I it's not like to hear Sweet Caroline ever again yeah. as long as I live. Yeah. There you go. It's one of them though, isn't it? Like what he was saying, like if it was I the first time it. you'd heard it and you didn't know how overplayed it was and like yeah, it hadn't been true, overplayed, yeah. you'd yeah. think, Oh yeah, good like tune though. Now. Yeah. You know. What was your answer? 
Mine was Tennessee whiskey. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's again, true. Dreams, Fleetwood Mac. I've heard it too oh, many times. Yeah. Yes. Roll me up and smoke me when I die. With Billy Nelson. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> I just had a oh, chuckle when I heard that for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Never too much, Luther Vandross. Oh, yes. Oh. Is that yours? No, no. Jones. Mine was God Only Knows by the Beach Boys. Oh. Somebody said Never Too Much, didn't they? Someone it? did. It's my oh, it was Fez. I think song. Fez. Yeah, it was. Oh, he said Johnson's nice. guitarist. Oh, Hi, Fez. <laughs> Hi, Jack, Jack, Hi, Jack we, haven't, we haven't said hello to Jack yet. <laughs> right. That's just a... Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> it's an inside joke. What yeah. colour are your toothbrushes? <laughs> oh. Green. Green. Black. Black. Blue. 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 There you go, You happy, Daniel? Yeah, you happy, Daniel? Friend of the pod. I don't know why I'm still doing that. I re- friend of the pod. At this yeah, point... Yeah, he's a friend of the pod. At this point, he's a mortal enemy because you have to <laughs> cater to him every fucking week. <laughs> he Hi, loves Daniel. you really, Daniel. I know, he's bent. Doesn't sound like you. <laughs> no. Anyway... Uh, okay, and finally for music questions, favorite album of all time? Oh dear me! <laughs> Folly You Do by Fallout Boy. Oh, okay, okay. Favorite album of all time? It's linked to a very emotional story, which we won't. <laughs> okay, all right. We'll push past that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. You can have two if it's easier, but one might be easier. I think I'm even a, a struggle at this point in time. Yeah. I'm a big fan of the Killers' second album, uh, Sam's Town. I really like that one. Um, yeah, it's one of mine anyway. Is that the one with um, You Got Sold, but I'm Not a Soldier? No, nah, that's, that's on the first one. one. Obviously, I love yes. that as well. Uh, but it's just Sam's Town's When We Were Young. And Read yeah. My Mind. Oh, when You Were Young. Yeah, read, 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 read My Mind on it, which is yeah. class. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of good tunes on it. Oh, I don't know, just. Oh, also. Um, I can't think. Oh no, the the American Idiot Green Day album. Mm. Yes, just that the way from start to finish, all the the way the songs link. You, if you play that, well, like me, who still listens to CDs, <laughs> the, you, you jump. You, you're not jumping from like yeah, song one yeah, to five. Yeah. You play it through, and they link and like the the one after another for a reason. And I read first time I'd heard that, I thought it was class. It's a bit of a, a different one, but uh, Psycho Drama by Dave. I That's don't know if you've heard it, album, but. Um, yeah. Obviously, rap with Dave, and it basically it's set out as like a, a therapy session. Yeah, and the way that it links it all, like it goes sort of from the songs, which all sort of play out in order and yeah, and like, work in order to like linking into like him being in a therapy session. Yeah, and, and like song by the therapist it. asking oh. questions and yeah. stuff, and then his song will go into like this get lyrical masterpiece. Following yeah, wow. from whatever like the it's like a bit of a concept yeah. song. Yeah, very, definitely. Very but uh, I think that was his. Well, when he released the album, I used to smash that on repeat. And like one of them, you can't listen to it sort of on shuffle. You want to listen to it. Yeah, it's like a show. You yeah, yeah definitely. And uh, great. Yeah. Is that the one that's got a different meaning if you play it backwards as well? You take oh no, that's far, like. um, <laughs> sorry, that's Pimp a Butterfly by Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that's a tangent. Uh, fuck, I don't know. Um, I really don't know. No. Really it's a tough one, right? No pressure. We might cut. Well, uh, we'll, we'll, pre- we'll press on. Do you know what? Californication, chili peppers. All right, okay, there it's we go. It's a good one. Solid album. Go. All right, now we've just got some funny quick fire questions. Try and ask them, answer them as fast as you can. Um, if you could be friends with a fictional, char- fictional character, who would it be? Mr. Bean. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's for you. Oh, I thought about this. He's our van mascot. Uh, he is, yeah, he is. Yeah. What a guy. Oh, Anybody else? <laughs> Fictional uh, Barney Stinson from How Met Your Mother. Absolutely love him. Yeah, <laughs> I've not watched that. What are you going to say, Phil Dunphy? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Frank Reynolds, always sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, that's a one hell of a show. That <laughs> Scooby Doo. Oh <laughs> yes, Doo. nice. Get in. Scranning all the time. <laughs> if you could get a tattoo today, what would you get? A wolf. Oh, you need to say the tattoo, yeah, tattoo Neon oh, Waves yeah. tattoo story. Oh, you've got <laughs> Neon Waves, got Neon Waves tattooed on his arm. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Show that to the so, camera. Show that to the camera. <laughs> yeah. So he got, he got that. He got that. Then he was like, we're going to change the band name. name. Yeah. We changed it a week, a week later. later. Yeah. Well, that choice so was funny. hard after that. To be fair, I don't care. It's one of them, like, uh, it was where we started off, wasn't it? Yeah, it's still, exactly. yeah. It'll always be exactly. the origin. I mean, if, if I need to, I just get a cross through it and get black out the arcade underneath. So just get a, a full arm of like failed names that we tried. <laughs> <laughs> Is anybody else? Uh, I, had, I had an idea of eventually getting a sleeve of um, a lot of different uh, of my favourite albums. Just okay. like, a lot of different cover art or maybe like uh, oh, right a pop culture sleeve. Just a, like a lot of my favourite moments from pop culture. So I'll probably start on that. Nice one. That's, that's cool. well great. down the line. Mine, mine's quite uh, 
sad, I suppose. I don't, I don't want to take it on a dark turn, but... Yeah, we're uh, going. Get your, so, get your violin out. So, uh, I, I, my nana died when I was, like, quite young. Oh, shit, I shouldn't have said <laughs> that. I'm really no, no, sorry. No, right, I, I promise I'll pull this back, right? It's not, it's not depressing. <laughs> um, it's going to sound like it is, because she had dementia, right? And it was a whole, a whole thing, but... Um, she used to be a, a bit of a card shark when she was younger and like a really good cards player okay. uh-huh. and um, cool. I used to play like snap or like other card games with her just simple ones when I was young and she'd always like that was one thing she could remember how to do and uh, when we were clearing out the house after they moved into a care home I found that deck of cards and it's still in my drawer on the side and there's a little design on the back and I want that like little crest on the back of that like oh, playing card design, oh, that's, 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 that's cool. Really get it, get it yeah, I, I want that. I don't know. I just think because that, that, that's like a cool thing because like I used to be so confused at like how confused she was because like as a what yeah. eight year old you can't exactly really yeah. comprehend that. I can't wait for Reese to follow that. I know. Yeah, he's gonna say so. She was like. Yeah. Honestly, I, honestly, I don't know. Um, otherwise, I probably already have them. I've, up to this day, I've only got one tattoo, and it's right on my leg here. Uh, just for reference. <laughs> and I, I got that when I was 18. I, I can't think of what I want to get, otherwise I would already have it on me. And Fair enough. I, yeah. It's quite an, well, quite an important thing what you have. Well, yeah, what's your tattoo? What is it? What's your tattoo? an album cover. Uh, what's, what's, what's the album, Reese? Fish in the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Disbelief. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's the logo it from the good, ride. It looks good, to be fair. The, the, the alligator thing. And oh, right, I just couldn't got think of anything to follow it. 90, 90 quid off, off The Apprentice, and it's actually pretty good, yeah. Yeah, yeah right. it's not bad. Not I mean, bad. It's lost its colour a bit now, hasn't it? Yeah, but apart from that, I can't honestly think, otherwise I'd already have it on me. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. All right, your favourite movie? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I like, uh, what's it called again? Um, Shawshank Redemption. I don't know if oh, anyone's yeah. seen it before. Okay, yeah. I think in terms of as far as the film goes, with the time you've got, it's obviously it's a bit more, it's not like a series, but it tells the same amount of a story as what a series would in a movie almost. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and asking what his favourite series is, Prison Break. Yeah. <laughs> nah, well, <laughs> Link the Sink. Top shelf. Link the Sink. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. But movies, definitely that. Series has got to be Breaking Bad. Yeah, hands down for yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah. Just wait. Um, so it was American Psycho, but then it got like really popular among people, and like right, you know, there's like the memes made out of like like Patrick Bateman and that now, and it like I don't know, I feel like it gets the wrong kind of attention, but uh, I don't know, I like um, Fight Club as well. What's the first rule about Fight Club? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'll happily t- I'll happily talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I don't play by the rules. There we go. Yourself? See, I always get ribbed for never watching films. So he's never seen Home Alone. Seen Home Alone. What? Yeah. Wow. Oh, God. wow. wow. I've had right. yeah. Honestly, yeah. it's it's all, you. You could probably go home now, right, and find some channel out of the nine hundred you've got, and find Home Alone yeah, on at some point be. during the day, right? It's on every Christmas, I'm multiple times, <laughs> and he just he, like at this point, it's like, at, at, this, at this point, at, at this point, it, this really annoys me, right? Because he's gone out of his way not to watch it yeah. now. Because it annoys you. Yeah. yeah. Right. Fair enough. So. Uh, I've been chasing I'll, him since school to watch it and he's just uh, I'll, I'll go Deadpool okay uh, Warrior with Tom Hardy I don't know how oh, many people have seen it oh, okay. the two brothers no, who sort that. of uh, estranged and they end up being like champion fighters and fighting each other in the final yeah and the shit one wins no, he's not shit. He's just more, no. He's not, not as good a fighter. He's more of like a, a wrestler. You he's like he's like a massive underdog. Do you right. know what I mean? It's class film. If you haven't seen it, watch it. Win. No, I've not. Yeah, you shouldn't. Shouldn't win. You're like you know. Yeah, but he breaks. Bucky's sort of had a nightmare breaks, there. Like his brother breaks his arm. Spoilers. And then like he's carrying on with his arm broken, and then yeah, no, I won't spoil anymore. I'll go watch it. Class All right, film. nice one. <laughs> really good film. Okay, good film. your favorite game. This could be video game, board game. <sighs> Basic, but FIFA. Okay. <laughs> Really? Mine's football manager at the moment. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just, yeah, know, it just funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I had um, these ripped me for it before, but I, I used to like playing uh, the Lord of the Rings strategy game, the Battle for the Earth one. Where you, you can't get <laughs> you your see, it's not the thing. The notification yeah. just coming up on his computer. You're like, what are you playing? He's like, that's not me. I'm Record- <laughs> <laughs> recording demos yeah, in his flat in Newcastle. He's yeah, he's like, I don't know why it keeps coming up. I don't play it. And we're like, <laughs> obviously you do. It's quality though. He's built like a massive army. But the thing is, no one, no one, no one, no one like ripped oh, him for bless it. You, man. But you he just, it. he just refused to admit that he played it. Yeah. <laughs> But you're admitting it here and now. That's yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's no one breaking news. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's my favorite game? I'm gonna say FIFA just because like I don't play many Gita. many games anymore. Pro clubs, um, but uh, like pro clubs with the boys, yeah, like, yeah. like him. It, it's Fair just enough. good. It gets me online and like playing games again and stuff like that. Sick. Yeah. And finally, what would you like your first dance to be at your wedding? 
should you choose to get married, I should add. Because I've had a few guests go, oh, I'm not fucking getting married. So. <laughs> Let the married man go first. <laughs> 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 no Other Way by Paolo Natini, probably. Oh, nice. If, oh, it, if yeah, you know that yeah, one off yeah. the uh, Sunny Side Up album, but that's an absolute tune, one of the... One of my favourite sort of uh, ballads or slow songs, yeah. Good answer, good answer. Mm. Um, your <laughs> song by Elton John. Okay. Good is answer. A funeral song, was it? No. Uh, no, he's, no. He's, he's You're thinking of Candle in the Wind. Oh, candle right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Candle in the Wind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <no. laughs> okay. <laughs> I wouldn't want a slow song, I don't think. Upbeat. But I've, I've had like, I've, I've toyed with the idea of like not having a first dance and like serenading them on like a piano of like that. All right. Do you know what I mean? Like, the Roots Sandstorm. Sit, yes. sit on the piano. Whatever, the Venga like, Boys or something. Yeah. <laughs> no, but then like, but then like dance to some like cheesy tune or maybe not a cheesy tune, the like Pencil Full of Lead or something by Paolo mm. Martini and just yeah. go wild. That would be me. really good. And like tell everybody to come join in halfway through. Ah, yeah, I nice. think that, you know, bit less kicks, kicks, the night, kicks the night off a bit better because, like, you know, it's after like a first dance where they have like a good slow dance, everyone applauds, all the family's like fucking crying and that. And it takes like two or three songs for everybody to get back into the swing, yeah, and dance slow yeah. and that. Kick it right off. You're all about momentum, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's similar to you, really. I, I don't think I've heard a song to date where I think, oh, yeah, this is definitely gonna be a, like my wedding song, sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it's slowing it all that. I'm not particularly skilled at dancing. So <laughs> <laughs> I Nothing doesn't matter. Nothing doesn't matter. matter. Before you, you do your first dance, do you get lessons? Or do you, know, do you go off the, that's up, that's the one-off lesson? It depends well, how first, much prep you want yeah, to do. Yeah. Slow first dance, you just, like, you just hug like each other and sway, don't you? Know, you like the basics, you know what I mean? You don't want to like, just your legs. You just sway. You're not like fucking ballroom dancing, you just like slow dancing. It's still a skill, isn't it? sway. Is there any sort of slow ballad songs that you like, though? Not particularly. No. no. Not, not. Catfish in the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just slow it right yeah, down. Glasgow, the acoustic. No. I, <laughs> you'll just need a couple of red stripe in you and you'll be flying. Heathrow, that's a good one for you. That's a good one. to be fair. So. I don't know, to be honest with you, but yeah, along with similar lines of it. Nice one. <laughs> Very good. Well, thank you so much for coming on thank and you. chatting to us. It. It's been absolutely entertaining. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, been, it's been great. Like I say, there'll be a snippet of these lads' song at the end of the podcast and the full version will be out tomorrow. But all that is left for me to say is thank you very much for watching and listening to the Lime Tree Sessions podcast with me, Jack Milkreese, Scott Charlton, and Blackout the Arcade. Woo! It's out. <laughs> and if I take it out, it's to the back streets. Yeah, I'll take it by the hand and change it in a heartbeat. You know it's so. There's no time left for hope I need God to come and carry me home And I phoned up Just to finally hear ya But you already said it all Yeah, you've already... Are we, are we good to go, are we? Yeah. Smashing. Jingle. No, <laughs> <laughs> this this one. Is actually one. I know, I know. We'll have to make one. We'll have to make one. a jingle. <laughs> plug yourself. Go plug yourself. Yeah. Go go plug yourself. yourself. <laughs> yes. Yes. Keep that in mind. Yeah. See, he stays <laughs> quiet, right? We don't give him a microphone, but every now and again, he just worms a little like. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have to keep this in now, aren't we? Yeah, I'll just keep it in. I'll just keep it in. You'll edit it. I don't mind. So proud. I'll put it as a post credit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My Go one. plug yourself. Go oh. plug yourself. That's great. We're, we're using that like. You'll get 10%. Don't worry. Yeah. Smash it. 10% of nothing, still nothing. <laughs> 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 all right, we're joined by. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you all right? I'm all right. Plenty of outtakes. Fall on the pieces. Smashing. We ready? Why? All right. Yeah. Born ready, bro. <laughs>